I'm Peg Green from the New York Landmarks Conservancy. We're at the Morris Jumel Mansion for another tourist in your own town excursion. This museum has a combination of architecture and history that's hard to beat. It was built in 1765 as a summer home for a British colonel and his American wife. The Palladian style of the house with its imposing front portico and perfect symmetry was unusual for the time. The house is clad in wood boards that are fashioned to look like masonry. On top of the hipped roof is a balustraded captain's walk. And the rear has octagonal rooms, believed to be the first in the colonies. In the 1700s, you could see all the way to Lower Manhattan and the harbor, as well as river to river. No wonder George Washington used it as his headquarters for a short time in 1776. This is the room he had used as his office and bedchamber. Washington returned here as president in 1790 and brought his cabinet. So John Adams, Thomas Jefferson, Alexander Hamilton, and Henry Knox were all here with him. As if that weren't enough history, Aaron Burr married Eliza Jumel in the parlor, and Eliza's picture hangs on the second floor. The widow's first husband bought this house in 1810. They updated it by adding the delicate federal-style entrance with its elliptical fanlight and the Jumels furnished it with much of the French Empire-style furniture you see here today. The rooms, which are often full of school children, are considered some of the finest Georgian-style rooms in the country. This old mile marker on the ground states that New York City is 11 miles away. It might have been once, but now the Morris Jumel Mansion is just a few subway stops from Midtown.